All right. Good morning, Vikings. Uh, today is Monday, November 7th, uh, and you should be watching this video during your STARS period. So this video is specifically for seniors, class of 2023. Um, I wanted to talk with you a little bit about the lesson we're going to do today and explain how to do it so that you guys get the most out of your options. So we're doing again this year, as many of you heard from me um, in the past couple weeks, we're doing again the elective scramble. So the elective scramble uh, is geared toward our 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students to assist them to make good positive choices for their course choices in high school for next school year. Well, being that you guys are seniors this year and you are not going to be registering for any classes with us, you have bigger things to be thinking of. So I have specific workshops for you guys to choose uh, to attend during the same time that the underclassmen are going to be doing their elective scramble. So what you see in front of you right here um, is a little bit of the modified bell schedule that we'll be using for that day, November 21st. And you can see here for the lot time from 940 to 1050, you guys, seniors, will have one 70 minute session uh, to attend. And today you are gonna be making your selections for your session. So I'm gonna show you what you're looking at. Okay, so your session choices um, are on a worksheet that you should have in front of you right now that looks like this. Uh, you have a variety of different workshops. You have these at the top that are specifically re related to college going planning. So we have a free application session to Hawaii Community College. If you missed any of the sessions that I held previously, uh, but you wanna get an application in there, you can sign up for that one. Same goes for UH Chilo. If you missed one of the sessions that I held earlier, but you want to um, apply to UH Chilo, you can sign up for that one. We also have a free application session uh, to apply to Grand Canyon University in Arizona. Uh, so if you are interested in applying to Grand Canyon, you can sign up for the Grand Canyon session. Others of you might be interested in looking into scholarships for college. So maybe your applications are all good. You're handling all of that. You're doing fine. But looking for some money to go to college. So we have two different scholarship workshops that you can choose from. One is gonna be a general scholarship workshop where they're going to offer a variety of different resources and have you actually start working on scholarship applications. The other is a scholarship workshop, also general, and going to share various different scholarships. But this one specifically will also be working on the Kamehameha Schools scholarships. So uh, could be a good choice for those of you seniors who have Hawaiian ancestry and are interested in going to college and looking for possible financial aid um, and scholarships to attend college. So those one, two, three, four, five, five college-based workshops that you could choose from. The next one on the list is um, a military fair. So we're doing it a little bit differently this year. Um, I'm going to place all the military branches, so Air Force, Army, Navy, and Marines, all together in one location so that you guys don't have to just choose attending one branches session. You will be able to um, spend that 70 minutes in one place and visit with all four um, of the military branches who are going to attend if you'd like. So if you're interested in the military um, or gaining more information about the different branches, then please feel free to select the military fair. The next one on our list um, is personal finance. So Lots of your financial decisions and things like that up until now were handled by your families, but you are soon 
young adults and hopefully becoming more independent and responsible for yourselves when it comes to your own finances. So the Hawaii Community Federal Credit Union, you know, the student credit union that we have on campus, well, their main branch is going to hold a workshop for us um, to help you guys think and talk about um, personal finance tips, uh, getting ready for adulting, um, maybe account information if you haven't opened up a student account yet, um, and, and lots more. Uh, they'll have activities um, and things for you to uh, start thinking about as you uh, lean toward adulthood and away from being a child who is uh, dependent on your parents for all of that information. Uh, so if you are interested in that session, it's wonderful. You'll learn so much. Uh, you can sign up for that one, the Hawaii Community Federal Credit Union. The next one on the list, uh, workforce development. So the County of Hawaii has a workforce development office um, and they provide um, information to anyone, any adult out there looking for employment, needing help looking for employment. So we have a workshop with them to be able to actually start setting up your employment account now and start getting information on job training programs um, and things that you might be able to start working on even this year as a senior before you graduate. So if you are interested in getting out there into the workforce right away, uh, this workforce development workshop might be a good one for you. We also have PTP workshops available. So unfortunately, there are still about 100 of you guys who are not fully complete with your PTP. So if you are not done and you could use some time to work on it, we will have PTP workshops available and you could sit down with a, with a Chromebook and work for that 70 minute period on any of the PTP items uh, that are still outstanding for you so that you can meet that graduation requirement. So if you know that you need some more time and help working on your PTP, please sign up for this one. And then the last choice on my list or on your list is that a teacher requested your assistance. So if you remember when you guys were juniors and you attended the elective scramble last year, you attended sessions that were run by teachers, but those teachers probably had some upperclassmen students um, assisting them uh, in running the session and sharing maybe uh, viewpoints from the student's standpoint of being a student who took those classes. So some of your teachers may have already asked you guys as the upperclassmen to help them in their um, workshops for the 9th, 10th, and 11th graders. So if you are okay not attending one of the other senior sessions, and you are interested in assisting one of your teachers, uh, then you can note that down on your form as well. Okay, so that's a brief description of all the different session options. And what we're asking you to do, I'm, oh, I'm looking at Shaden's one as an example. Sorry, Shaden. Um, but you each have a form that has your own name on it with your STARS teacher. What I want you to do is write in your first choice session, your second choice session, and your third choice session. We shouldn't need to get down to your third choice. Hopefully, we don't even have to get down to your second choice. We want to be able to give everyone their first choice option um, of session that you sign up for. But just in case any of the sessions get too large um, or I can't fit everybody, please put good thought into uh, your first, second, and third choices for sessions. Because in the event that we get too full, we may have to place you in one of your lower options. But again, take a look at this sheet, look at all the different options of workshops, and write in the name of the workshop 
into your first, second, and third choices. Okay, so this um, assignment has to be done today and turn it into your STARS teacher and your STARS teacher will get it to me today so that I can start creating all of your schedules and we will be ready to go um, and participate in the scramble on Monday, November 21st. All right. So if you have any questions, you guys know where I am and 103, uh, stop by and see me. Um, otherwise, talk to your STARS teacher uh, and they can help answer some questions as well. But I hope you make good choices and you make the most of our scramble for this year. Thank you. Have a good day.